section 1.1, rectangular coordinates. You don't need a new date. You only need a new mindset, Hazel Hero. So in section 1.1, we're gonna look at the basics of graphing and the distance formula and the midpoint formula. So the first thing is plotting points. So here we have um, the x-axis is the horizontal line. The vertical line here is the y-axis. This, the center where they meet, this is called the origin. And then it breaks it into four quadrants, quadrant one, two, three, and four. And these points, are called order pairs and they're made up of coordinates for x and y. So the first number is, represents x, the second represents y. So here we want to plot negative 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. We go to the left 3 and up 2. Now I'm going to label these a, b, c, d, e. So this is point a. Then we have four, so four is positive, we go to the right. And y is negative, so we go down. For c, uh, we have three, and then y is one. Then d is zero, zero, zero is right in the center. And then we go down two. And then last, e is negative one and negative two. So that's what it means to plot um, points. So now let's look at the um, Pythagorean theorem and distance formula. So for a right, a right triangle with hypotenuse length C and sides length A and B, you have A squared plus B squared equals C squared, which is um, the Pythagorean theorem. And the converse is true. If A squared plus B squared equals C squared, then we know it's a right triangle. The distance, between two points is given by this formula. And we can see how this formula was generated. So if you have two points here, then we're trying to find the distance. So I'm gonna call this D for distance from this point to this point. And so what we can look at is this right triangle that is being formed. So the, the difference from the x points is here, x2 minus x1, and then the difference of the y points is here, y2 minus y1. Since it's a right triangle, then we can say this side squared plus this side squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. And so if we solve for d, we take the square root on both sides. Since we're looking at distance, we only consider the positive. So this is the first formula for the um, semester that you'll need to do um, some of these problems. <clears throat> so let's do some examples. Find the distance between 3, 1 and negative 3, 0. Ex express in radical form and round to two decimals. So first, I'd like to write down the formula somewhere where I can see it. So we have x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. We can label our uh, order pair as x1, y1, and x2, y2. And so I can plug in these numbers x2 is negative 3, x1 is 3 squared plus y2, which is 0, minus y1, which is 1. And then we're going to simplify. Negative 3 minus 3, negative 6 squared plus negative 1 squared negative 6 squared is 36, negative 1 squared is 1. So 
So we get that D is equal to square root of 37. We need to make sure that it's simplified. And so basically, if you cannot rewrite this number as a perfect square times another number, then it's going to be simplified. So 37 is actually prime. So that's 1 times 37. Um, 1 is perfect. It comes out as 1, but the 37 would stay in the uh, square root. And so we say this is already simplified. And then if we get a decimal, we can put it into the um, calculator. So it's approximately 6.08. So this is the approximation. When you do your homework on WebAssign, they want you to enter your answer as a simplified radical form. Let's try example three. I can call this x1, y1, x2, y2. So x2 is 2 minus negative 1 squared plus y2 is 3 minus y1, negative 3 squared. Negative, negative is positive. 2 plus 1 is 3. Negative, negative is positive. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 squared is 9. 6 squared is 36. So we get D is the square root of 45. 45 is um, not simplified. Square root of 45 is not simplified. And so notice that the number 45, I can write it as 9 times 5, where 9 is actually a perfect square. I can bring it out. Um, the square root of 9 is 3, and then 5 is going to remain in the square root. So this is your simplified answer. And then to get the um, decimal, we can use our calculator. So we have square root of 5. times 3, and so we get approximately 6.71. Okay, let's try the next one. So again, we can label this x1, y1, x2, y2. So we have one third minus 7 thirds squared plus 6 fifths minus 1 fifth squared. 1 minus 7 is 6 over 3 squared plus 6 minus 1 is 5 over 5. 6 minus 6 divided by 3 is 2 squared and 5 divided by 5 is 1. Two squared is four plus one. So we get square root of five. And square root of five is not perfect. So this is gonna be your simplified answer. And the decimal for that is 2.2. .2. So now let's look at the midpoint. So the midpoint is basically if you have a point on one side and one on the other, and you're trying to find this midpoint here. Okay, so the midpoint can be found by using this formula. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, work this problem out. So midpoint is equal to x1. In this case is negative 2 plus um, 4 divided by 2 and y1, which is 8, 
plus y2, which is 10, divided by 2. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2. A plus 10 is 18. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 18 divided by 2 is... And let me just check my work here. So we have a plus 10, but notice why 1 is negative 10. And a plus negative 10 is negative 2, so we get negative 1. Notice that we have a point, so we need these um, parentheses to represent a point on the graph. Number 3. We have, if we need the formula, we can write it up here, x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So I'm going to call this x1, y1, x2, y2. So x1 is negative 2 fifths plus x2, which is negative 2 fifths divided by 2. Then we have y1 is 7 fifteenths plus negative 4 fifteenths divided by 2. Negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4 fifths divided by 2. And 7 plus negative 4 is negative 3 fifteenths divided by 2. So here um, we have negative 4 fifths divided by 2. So we can take change division to multiplication and we get the reciprocal. So we get negative 4 tenths. And over here, the shortcut is we multiply 5 times 2 to give you that denominator. So 15 times 2 is 30, negative 3 thirties. So here this should be positive because 7 is bigger. So we end up with negative 4 tenths we can reduce to negative 2 fifths and 3 thirties we can reduce to 1 tenth. And the last one, a football quarterback throws a pass from the 28 yard line. So from the 28 yard line, 40 yards from the sideline, a wide receiver catches the ball at the five yard line, 20 yards from the same sideline. Show, as shown in figure 1.8, how long is that pass? So they wanna know how far is this, how long is this pass? So here we have two points. We have the first one, which is 40 and 28. 40 is coming from the X axis. And then we have um, the second point, which is 20 and 5. So at this point, we have to decide, is this a distance formula or a midpoint formula? So since we want to know how long it is, it's going to be a distance formula. So recall that the formula is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So in this case, x2 is um, 20 minus 40 squared plus y2, which is 5 minus 28 squared. So we get negative 20 squared plus negative 23 squared. So we get 400 plus 529. So we get 929, which is approximately 30.48 um, yards long. At the end of each section, you're going to see the following.
you're going to see um, some checkpoints. So these checkpoints are based off of what we just finished discussing. Um, a few examples just to check before you start the homework. Uh, if you try them, I encourage you to try them. And then you can click on the uh, link here and it's going to take you to the solution. And so then it's also a video you can play. Plot the and, points negative you know, three, two. Way, if you need a few extra more examples. So that was the end of section 1.1. .1.